Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Yes. All can. right. You can hear me very well. All right. Thank you. Thank you for the feedback. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Make any reaction if the sound is okay. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. All right. Great. Thumb up reaction. Great. All right. It's Monday. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's October. No more September. Hi, good evening. It's Abel. Good to see you. All right. Good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, perfect. Yes. Great, thank you. I'm in traffic. Some people are in traffic still. <laughs> in traffic at this time at 8 p.m. Good evening. Hey, good evening. How are you? Fine, and you? How are your weekend? It was good. It was good. It was very productive, very busy. But it was great. What are you doing? Well, lots of things. I have to. I have to. See. Yeah, I brought a lot of work from from the foundation. So Saturdays, practically, I was checking assignments, evaluations, stuff. I also had a class for remedial for students that need to improve their levels. I was also doing some shopping because of oh. chil Children's Day. <laughs> yes, I ha I have. 12 nieces and nephews so i had to well, sell yes <laughs> how many brothers have you three three <laughs> my brothers are very productive you know yeah I <laughs> so they have lots of kids i went to celebrate then yesterday we got the children's celebration great 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 weekend. well how about the teleton weekend fine fine uh, a lot of time with all people uh saturday night they look destroy exhaust <laughs> yeah yeah but uh they stay near of the of the goal they, they got very, close very very worried because they have uh five five thousand no fifty thousand dollars down than the last year wow yeah yeah people are not lot of money. right now nah, nobody have money Mm -hmm. it's no. true. I mean, the economy is really bad. It's weak. It's weak. Really, weak, weak, really weak. weak. Yeah. Uh, but it's funny. Uh, I say with a lot of people. Uh, yeah. there, there was a lot of entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. That's the good, the good I, point I, of that. I saw a little bit. There were some kids dancing. <laughs> In the morning, Saturday morning. I think it was, yeah, it was Saturday morning. Uh -huh, exactly because my neighbors were kind of watching it so i said ah it's teleton it's true i just remember yeah. all right well welcome everybody i hope you're fine i hope you're okay so first challenge first things first i see ferman isabel and ferman in the chat but not everybody <laughs> so on the chat write three sentences of three different activities that you did on your weekend using verbs in past. I went to the market, I saw my best friend, I ate pizza, three different activities that you did on the weekend using the verbs in past, okay? Three sentences, whatever sentence you want to say, okay? The three sentences using verbs in past. All right, that's the first challenge on the chat. Hey, Daniel, welcome back. Hi, teacher. Long time. Yes. <laughs> you were busy. A little. A little. Nice. But I saw you finish the platform. That's really good. 
at least you, you were working on the platform. <laughs> That's great. Uh -huh. Take your time to write the sentences, please. All right, I see. Uh -huh. I went to the supermarket, one. Mm -hmm. Just one. What did you do on the weekend? Uh huh. I was busy. I was tired. I saw a movie. I did exercise. I went to work. Okay. Sorry to hear that. Uh huh. What else? I cleaned the house. I was okay. I was at work on Peloton. Mm -hmm. I had a bad headache yesterday. <laughs> All right. I went to visit my family on the weekend. That's awesome too. Mm -hmm. What other activities did you do on the weekend? Let's see. Huh? What other activities? I ate breakfast with my child because it was Children's Day. All right, I went to birthday on Sunday. I went to visit my family on the weekend. All right, I celebrated my son's birthday. That's great. <laughs> I went to the volcano to have breakfast with my sister and at home we celebrated my aunt's birthday. Nice, celebrated. You just missed it, D, for the past and celebrated. All right. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? What else? Okay, I see. Yes, most of you are using the verbs in past, which is really good because that was the topic. Ah, yes. Okay, we celebrated Children's Day or Child's Day. Uh huh. What else? Oh yeah, I went to a birthday too, I remember. There is a friend of mine whose song birthday is on children's day, exactly. <laughs> they say, what a coincidence. You just have to have one celebration. <laughs> okay. And he's 13 already. All right. Okay, well, in the meantime, the rest keep writing the sentences. We can have the attendance. One class before the last one, okay? This is our <laughs> class number 19. So this is one class before the last one. All right, wait a second. I lost my name cards here. Mm -hmm. I will have to go to the very end because of the dates. All right. Monday the 3rd. This would be Monday the 3rd. The 3rd of October. Imagine how far we have come. <laughs> All right, one more sentence in the chat. I didn't see the teleton. Ah, that's so sad. Okay, <laughs> that's so sad. All right, Adriana. Present. All right, Carlos. Carlos, I saw Carlos. Present. Ay. Pensé que me había oído. <laughs> All right, Cristina. Present. Hi, Daniel. Present. Elsie. Present, teacher. All right, Fernandez in traffic. Hazel. ¿Y por qué ando descalzo? 
Van a ver ya. <risa> All right, Héctor. Present teacher. Hi. Hi. Irma. Present teacher. Hi. Sorry, I hadn't listened to you. Isabel. Present. Lucy. Present. Hi, Mayra. Present. Samuel. Present. Wendy. Not present. <laughs> Absent. Jacqueline. Present. Hi. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay, well, I hope you had enjoyed your weekend, by the way. Yes, I hope you had a wonderful weekend and that you have recharged batteries. Recharging batteries sometimes takes time, takes rest. So, yeah, you had homework, didn't you? <laughs> Did you do the homework? <laughs> by the way, no, we didn't do the homework. Why? Yes, I did. Ah, nice. <laughs> At least one person did. Okay, what was the homework about? Carlos, tell us. Mm -hmm. The answer. No, no the answer. Que piense en su Complete. parte. No. <laughs> ¿De qué trataba el homework? What was the homework about? Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, talking about uh, the history of uh, uh, a family. Uh -huh. Family uh, traveled to uh -huh. uh, Disney, Hero Disney, uh -huh. Hero Disney. Uh -huh. uh, the family, the past, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they had an awesome time. They had a wonderful time. All right, so it was about, a, me. yes, it was about <laughs> a reading, right? So the homework was about a reading so that you could practice reading comprehension, but it's okay. If you didn't do it, we'll see. We'll do it right now, okay? It's fine, let's see. Let's check. All right. As I was mentioning, yes, this is our station 19. The date is Monday, October the 3rd, 2022. The usual reminders at the end. Well, hopefully we can write an email recommending a workshop or training using the simple past. And yes. This was the story. It says, I'm Helen, last summer holidays. I went with my family to Paris. We went by car. So in order to go to Paris by car, you have to live in Europe, right? <laughs> so there was me, my parents, my brother, Tom, and my little sister, Susan. We live in Brenton and we are English. So definitely they are English so they can go to Paris by car, right? So we saw the most interesting places in Paris as the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre Museum, and we made the city tour. I loved it because Paris is a very beautiful city. On the fifth day, we went to Euro Disney. That was fantastic. We all enjoyed ourselves a lot. We stayed in Euro Disney four days. They were the most exciting days I had all, I had all my life. We were all very tired because we have to walk a lot, to watch everything and enjoy all the amusements. My sister's only four years old and she loved it. I met all the Disney characters and they were very funny. We stayed at a hotel inside Euro Disney. Okay, so based on this reading, you have to answer the question. So that was the homework, okay? To read the story to be able to answer the question. When did Helen go to, I mean, yes, where did Helen go last summer? How did she go? Who did Helen go with? What did she see in Paris? Did Helen like Paris? 
Where did they go on the fifth day? Did they enjoy it? How long did they stay in Euro Disney? Were they very tired? Did they stay in Euro Disney for three days? How old is Helen's sister? And who did Helen meet in Euro Disney? All right, so these are the questions that you are supposed to answer. Okay, I'm going to give you some times para que compare. First thing I recommend is to read. Leanlo en voz alta para que sus compañeros puedan apoyar. So they can support with pronunciation, with intonation, or whatever you need to practice, all right? And then compare your answers. If they tratan de comparar las answers, lo que ustedes entienden. En cada una de las uh, questions, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Ajá. Eh, vean lo, lo de la vez pasada, lo de la clase del viernes. Uh -huh. Ahí envió esa, esa información. El viernes. ¿Dónde está la, la info? Dice, hi Helen, la summer holiday. I went with my family to Paris. We went by car. Hola, ah, ya lo vi. Ajá. There was me. They, they watch me, my, par, my parents, my brother, Tom, and my little sister, Susan. Mm -hmm. We live in Brixton and we are English. We saw, saw the, the most interesting places in Paris at the Eiffel Tower, the Lower Museum. Museum. And we made the city uh, tours. Okay. I love it because Paris is a very beautiful city. On the fifth day. Ya logran ver? No, todavía no. No ven. No ven nada. Como no, pero. Hey. Teacher. Hi, right, teacher. Tell me. I have a, a, a question. Yes, tell me. Uh, it's necessary to uh, read, read uh, the history uh -huh. before answer the, the question. But no, I, it's for, for a better reference. But if you want to answer the question, just answer the question. But then you compare. Hmm. Mm -hmm. But now... We don't receive, receive the information, teacher. Yes, on Friday. We need we need yeah, if, uh, you share the, the story again. The story, yeah. Okay, I can share the story. It's okay, but I have already shared the story on Friday because it was a homework. Really? Yes. Ah. Look that. <laughs> you can check the group. Por, por eso, teacher, porque yo no estuve el viernes. <laughs> I can, man. You're right. <laughs> y cuando no está en, el, en la clase, se sale del grupo, ¿no? <laughs> <laughs> no, pues, eh, venía viajando de, 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 de Guatemala, pero por cuestiones de trabajo. Uh -oh. Entonces, ¿Ya eso, encontró, doctor? 
Tell me. You find it, teacher. You found it. Oh, find. Found. Find, found. 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 Yes. I found. Estoy buscando. No, la encontré. I found Perfect. it. Ah, okay. Found dent. Uh, let me try, uh, try compare. Ah, here. <clears throat> And one, two, three, four, a lot count. Uh -huh, there you go. And see. And the next is the questions. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're right, teacher. All right. I'm wrong. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's, sorry. It's okay. We just didn't remember. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ok, ok. Entonces hay que leer esto, compañero. Ok, perfecto. Vamos a... Ok. Dice que bien cansados porque eh, para ver todo tuvieron que caminar mucho. Uh -huh. ah, yes. Esa es la, digamos así, como el resumen. Uh -huh. Entonces de ahí viene el cuestionario. Creo que lo puso en el chat. El... Ah, si entran sí. al chat. Lo compartió sí. la teacher, ¿sí? Ajá, ah, pues esas son las preguntas que contestar de acuerdo al, a la historia. A la lectura de, ajá, el del párrafo. Sí, entonces, eh, si quieren empezamos con la primera. Pero aquí es como utilizando el, el, el pasado. Día, el pasado. Ah. Ajá. Utilizando el pas. How did Helen go with? Ah, un punto. She went with with their parents parents brother and sister. How did they see in Paris? Okay, the Eiffel Tower. The Louvre Museum. Museum, museum, museum. I need some, I need the museum. And Euro Disney. Did Helen like Paris? Yes. She did. Yeah. yeah. Where they go on the first day? They went to Euro. Yes. Yes, they did. How long did they stay in New York Disney? Four days. 
is the or the were they tired? Yes. They were very tired. Tired, tired, tired. Tired, tired. Ahí sería en, en pasado, ¿verdad, teacher? El tired. Yes, tired ya está así porque es un adjetivo, es un participio, entonces ya está así con D. Okay, ED. Okay. Yes, tired. Do you say the other word? No. They stay for. Next, were they tired? They have, because they had to walk a lot to watch everything and enjoy all the amusement. Because we have had a work to work. Uh -huh. Very tired, very tired. Very tired. To watch. The, la siguiente dice, did they stay in Euro Disney for three days? No, they didn't. They stayed four days. It's similar to the answer, previous answer, no? They stayed four days. Yes. No, they ¿Cuántos años es mayor la hermana de ese? Como que afirma. Ah, sí, ellos, ellos disfrutaron. Entonces, se, se afirma. Yes, they did. Ajá. Esa es la número de... Ah, eight. How uh -huh. long did they stay in Evo Disney? Uh, four days. Four days. They were. Four. Uh -huh. Four days in Evo Disney. Teacher. ¿Qué fue la teacher? Hi. Ah, ok. <laughs> <laughs> en el number 8, I answer eh, is they were for four days. It's ok. They were for four days. ¿Dónde? Where? For the, in Euro Disney. Uh -huh. So they were in Euro Disney for four days. Ah, primero. Uh -huh. En el lugar donde estuvieron. 
This is they were in in your listening. Mm -hmm. For four days. Uh huh. In your listening. Teacher, yes. Just a question. Mm -hmm. And what is the homework? that I need to complete at this day. The platform? Yes, the pa platform. Yes, did you complete it? Um, no, I think I'm a little. Just a little. <laughs> uh, uh, a little behind, let's see. <laughs> I had the grades, let me see. Yes, for today, the platform should be completed. Wait a second, Lucy, right? Mm. I'm looking for your grades. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Including the homework of the unit four, all the assignments from the unit four. Let's see, yes. And the final test as well, I think. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're not sleeping tonight. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. No problem. Number nine. Nine. Were they tired? Uh, yes, they tired. were very tired. Very tired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fíjense que tengo un pequeño lío aquí. Pues eso no tiene aquí por, por lo oculta. Ajá. No, porque antes está, lo tenían en el plan de la laguna, pero ya, ya no cabían ahí. Movieron toda la planta por allá. Movieron todo el, el CD. El, el centro de distribución. Ajá. Y, y ahí la, la planta de congelados. Y de panadería siempre sigue estando en el plan de la laguna. Ok. Así que ahí estamos. Pero no te va a tronar en Navidad. Sí, esta temporada sí. Ahí está. ¿Y quién empieza? Sí. Yo. ¿Quién empiezo yo? Uh -huh. Where did Helen go last summer? Helen went a party last summer. A party, party last summer. How did she go? She went by car. What are these, creo yo? No, esta es una pregunta, la 10, una pregunta cauciosa, uh -huh. que obviamente tenés que contestar con no, no, they, they didn't. Porque como eran cuatro, entonces están preguntando, porque me das la negación de eso. Vale, uh -huh. entonces la respuesta de nueve sería, y yes, uh, uh -huh. they got tired. Y la 10 es de entonces sería la 10, sería no. No, no, no. Y de ahí está el origen. No. De ahí vive. De ahí. De ahí está ahí. Está ahí. Four. Ajá, ¿cuántos años tenía? Eight. 
uh, easy for 40 years. Mm -hmm. All skilling sister. A quien conoció en Disney. So his sister um, for yeah. <coughs> Who did Helen meet in Europe Disney? A quien conoció? No me acuerdo que he visto que conoce a alguien. I hear in the summer, we uh, uh, and this is my dear sister Susan Gulliver's when no, 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 no entiendo quién conoció. A lo mejor a los personajes. Pregunta por una. Dice Judy. Que Tom es el hermano. No, mi... no es que no es quien ¿Tengo? conoció, mi es otra cosa. Se reunió, perdón. Así es. ¿Con quién se reunió, perdón? No lo había visto. Con Susan. Con oh, my brother, dice, ha. con, con, su, con más, your brother, ¿verdad? Tom uh -huh. y, y your sister, your sister, Susan. La nueve dice where they Terry. Okay, Jerome. All right, did you finish? Long ago. No, teacher, incluso hace poquito empezamos. Porque no estaba en el grupo y le pedí ayuda a Beatriz que me la mandara a WhatsApp. <laughs> ok. So we're going to compare, don't worry. Ok, just try to remember the information, all right? So where did Helen go last summer? Mm -hmm. She went to? Paris. Helen went to Paris last summer. Okay, she went to Paris last summer. All right, that's correct. Okay, we're gonna put this around here. All right, number two, how did you go? Mm -hmm. 
car. She went by car. She went by car. She went by car. Right. Who did Helen go with? She went with her family. She went with her family. She went with her family. Of course, she's just a child. All right. What did they see in Paris? The Eiffel Tower. They saw yeah. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower. Mm -hmm. What else? The Louvre Museum. Okay. Louvre. Louvre. The Louvre Museum. Mew, mew. I'm sorry. <laughs> My typo. Yeah. Uh huh. What else? And Euro Disney. And okay. Disney. All right. Yes. Everything. They saw everything. Europe. All right. Did Helen like Paris? Yeah. Yes, she like. Yes, yes, she did. Here, if you want to continue explaining, you can say she loved it. Yes. Okay. Where did they go on the fifth day? They went to a rodisme. Okay. They went to Disney. Mm -hmm. That's right. Did they enjoy it? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. They had a wonderful time. They really enjoyed it, right? If you want to continue explaining, but if you just leave it like that, it's fine. How long did they stay in Euro Disney? They stay. Mm -hmm. They stay. Four days. Four days. They stay. Uh huh. They stay in Euro Disney. Four days. That was okay. Or you can say they stay there because you already know what you're saying in the question, right? The place is Euro Disney, so they stay there for four days. All right. Were they tired? Yes, they go tired. Yeah. They were really tired. Okay. They got really tired. They got very tired. All right. Did they stay in Euro Disney for three days? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Because they stay for four days, right? You can say that. All right. How old is Helen's sister? She was she four, years four years old. She is four, or she was four years old. Hmm. Well, let's leave it in present because it's in present. She's four years old. All right, just tiny. And who did Helen meet in Euro Disney? She mm -hmm. met all the characters. Mm hmm. Well, the Disney's character. She met all the Disney characters. Okay. You can say that. Alright. That could be the possible answers for these questions. Alright. Obviously, we try to answer as complete as possible because when we give short answers, sometimes we lose some ideas, right? 
Okay. Is there any question? No. Clear, clear as the water. Wow. Mm -hmm. No questions. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Let's go to one of the last conversations we have on the manual. Okay, this conversation says, Hi, Julie, this is Jack on the phone, right? When you call on the phone, you usually say this is. So this person that is calling you, right, is in the name. So hi, Julie, this is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look. I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitations for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean the training. Not a hotel, right? <laughs> so do you recommend the training? I mean, the training, did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learned a lot. Okay, once again, I'm gonna be doing it slowly so that you can catch most of the words. And if you still have some doubts, you can still ask, all right? Jack and Julie are talking on the phones. You may see on the photo, right? Hi, Julie, this is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack, everything is fine, thanks. How about you? Just perfect, look. I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new ones. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training, did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learned a lot. All right, still hesitating, still not quite sure about some words, some pronunciation, you may ask, all right? Take a look, take your time to read the conversation, take a glance, see if there's something you still need to work on, still need to practice, let me know. Okay? Questions? There are no questions. Okay, perfect. All right. All right, I'm going to recreate the rooms because some people were not included so that you can practice. The most you can practice would be great. Maybe you can imitate the voices, you can make different voices so you can sound a lot more interesting. I and mean, if there are some words that you still don't know, then you can, you know, like paraphrase. All right, and then try to understand what is happening in the conversation, all right? Me regalan otro café si son tan amables.
creo. Voy, 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 ahorita, ahorita. Avísame cuando ya lo vean, por favor. ¿Ya? Ya. Ok, ya. Ay, no, pero bien chiquitito. Ahí está. Lado más grande, voy a, voy a tener que irlo moviendo, ustedes me avisan. Ok. Ahí. Bye. Eh, si quieren, empiezo. No sé quién, con quién. Eh, conmigo. Muy bien. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are the things are going after work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thank, uh, thank you. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about trees and weed and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crow Plaza. Crow Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training. Did you find it helpful? Help, helpful. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Most, uh, absolutely, most of of us were pleased. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Please, 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 with the faker and practice. I personally learned a lot. A lot. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa? Please, please. Please, 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 así. Yo pienso, yo pienso que place. Veamos. Crown place. Ah, ahora ustedes dos ya escuchan. Place. Placed. Placed. <laughs> Please. Please. Uh -huh. Bye. Hoy, no sé. Ok, yo comienzo con quién. Conmigo, para, porque yo no he hecho eso. Okay. Y después. Speaker, uh, practice, I personal business, uh, learning a lot. Hoy Luce, si quiere usted, Jack y. No, Julie y Jack es este, la otra Julie. compañera. Ajá. Okay. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything's fine. Thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attend a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training at, I attended was about first I, A, AID and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training. Did you find it, it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learned a lot. Okay. Sergio 
tienen con la asociación. Se salió la otra chica. Quizás tuvo problemas. Esto. Ok. Si quieren, entonces intercambiamos. Ustedes, Jack, y yo soy Julie. Ok. Eh, dice como bien detallada la I, ¿verdad? Ok. Pero, bueno, pero ahí eh, creo que está la teacher. Yo creo que es Placey. <risa> <risa> Placey. Es, es Placey. Ah. Placey. Placey. Places. Hi, places. ¿Cómo se lee la última palabra? Places. Places. Where is this? Wait a second. Julie. Well, we were please. Please. Yeah, please. como please, de, de, por favor, pero please. Please. Wow. No. Please. please. Yeah, we were yes. please. No we were very happy. Eso es lo que significa. Please. please. Mm -hmm. What did you say? Please. Yes, absolutely. Please. Most of, of us were pleased. No, I can't. Please. With the speaker and practice. I personally learned it a lot. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Otra vez. Yeah. Otra vez. <laughs> bueno, te toca con Noemi. Ok, ahí cualquiera ya hicimos los dos, así que... De igual forma para que bueno, lo respetamos okay. de la misma manera dos veces cada yeah. uno. Vaya. Ah, ok. Eh, ahí está Héctor. Ah, no, pero que ahorita está, estaban ustedes dos, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, entonces hoy vas conmigo. Tú eres Jack, no de mí. Ah, ok. ¿Cómo, están las, ¿Cómo te va algo así en el trabajo? ¿Cómo está todo en el trabajo? Algunas cosas está bien, gracias. Algo así. No, no, no. Todo está bien, gracias. Y, y, y tú que me, que me que, tú que me cuentas algo así. ¿Qué me dices? Okay. How are you? Perfecto. Veo. Uh, necesito saber. Ajá. Si tú asististe a la, a la capacitación el año pasado. Nosotros en Sandy. Este, enviamos las invitaciones para el nuevo para el, para el nuevo año. Para el otro año. Uh -huh. Pues sí. No, pues sí, está bien. Dice la capacitación. Decir, la... ¿Ah? No, nada. <ríe> ok. ¿Qué significa AIT? AIT. Ah, es como. Ah, que le dice Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid. Este es como ayuda, pero que como dice First Aid en Prevention, creo que se refiere a, a primeros auxilios y prevención, la, la capacitación. Ah, es otro tipo de decir eso, vaya. Qué interesante. Ajá. Sí, Qué también para mí es nuevo. Uh -huh. Para mí es nuevo. Qué Suena bien, le dice, ¿y, en, y en, ¿dónde, dónde fue? ¿Dónde tuvo lugar? Aquí es donde uh -huh. no entiendo mucho. Cuando ocupan el Help, que es el pasado del Hall, uh -huh. fue en el Hotel Crown Plaza, pero el Hall no lo entiendo. ¿Qué está ahí? Quiero ver. Hello, teacher. Hi. Sí, es como se llevó a cabo. Es como fue organizado, se, se uh -huh. mantuvo, se sostuvo. O sea, no, la traducción uh -huh. literal no tiene sentido, pero es como, ajá, ahí es donde se, uh -huh. se realizó. Ajá, de interpretarlo, ¿verdad? ¿no? Ajá, de interpretarlo. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. Porque Hull es sostenible. Yeah. Pero, uh -huh. ajá, pero entonces, obviamente, la gente lo organizó, tuvo que haber, ha habido un equipo de organización y que lo, y que lo mantuviera en ese hotel. 
que lo desarrollaran en ese día. Okay. Por eso se pone así en, pas en voz pasiva. It was held at the ground plaza. Okay. Y pleased, que, what is the mean? Pleased es como que está muy complacido. Muy complacido, mm. muy feliz. Mm -hmm. Ok. Mm -hmm. Sí. Do you recommend it? O sea, ahí, ahí le dice que si se lo recomienda, lo recomienda, uh -huh. o sea, quiero decir la capacitación, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh Ajá, -huh. did you find it helpful? Yes, le, le, pareció, le pareció de, buen, de, de alguna ayuda. Uh -huh. Ajá, que se la encontró como... La utilidad. Le sirvió o algo así. Uh -huh. Sí. Y le pareció que ah, no fuera un solo pasaje. <risa> ¿Le sirvió en algún momento? ¿Le ayudó en algún momento a resolver algo en, en el trabajo? Hmm. La mayoría de nosotros. Ah, o sea que sí, como que la mayoría de nosotros como que... Estuvo este, contento, ajá. ¿no? Ah, como que quedó satisfecho, algo así, ¿no? Uh -huh. yes. Ajá. Ah, pues sí. Esa era la parte que me, más que todo, del hotel era la que me uh -huh. Me estaba un poquito confusing, porque sí, una, una, una estructura un poco avanzada, una voz pasiva, it was held. Ah, se, okay. se llevó a cabo, se desarrolló, eso puede ser, una interpretación. Ah, ah. Ok, ¿podemos contestarlas? Yes, sure. Bye. -bye. Okay, why did you obtain the Julia train? O sea, en un peñón, que es, es más, está a la par del rancho de los maristas. Ah, yo te voy a decir por dónde decir vos, yendo a Barra Ciega, porque por ahí queda ese. Hey, hola, teacher. Ya la vi por ahí. Planning a trip to the beach. Of course, the, the, end of, the, end, the end of the end, the end, the end of the course, the end of the course trip. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey teacher, mire, pero por si acaso, mire, la, la vamos a enseñar para a dónde puede ir su próxima vacation. Really. Yo quiero, quiero que por aquí está. Mire, teacher. Ay, estoy viendo la conversación. Ah, los cobanos, del lado de son sonate. Sí, este, entonces vos decís este. Por aquí es, es, está donde vos decís. O sea, según lo que yo me ubico. La playa del Flor. Ah. Está, está, está después a la par del, del estero. Mm. Es que el estero está aquí. Toda esta zona de aquí, mira. ¿Ve? Ah, pues este, exactamente aquí. Yo, yo señalando como que me está viendo. <risa> te voy a... Te voy a chingar. Hey, teacher, no, no está grabando esto, va, teacher. Yes, ¿Cómo I no? <risa> okay, no, visto no, lo, mira, no he visto los videos. No, no he visto. <risa> he matado de la risa. <risa> ok, teacher. Por eso ya para... se cohiben y después ya no quieren participar, ¿verdad? Sí, no, pero fíjese que es divertido ver esos videos. Ay, hey, no. <risa> Teacher, ahí edita esto, así que vamos a comenzar la conversación. No bien empezado. No, ya no, terminamos. Ya terminamos hasta las preguntas, contestamos. Ah, vaya. Ajá, porque por ejemplo aquí lo que entendemos es, in your opinion, in your opinion. open show training take place. Uh -huh. Entonces yo digo que, en my opinion, uh -huh. once, one, once, once a year. year. A year, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. so, Samuel, eh, there's que two is I think it depends. It depends because some companies need more training than others because they are updating programs or machines or stuff like that. So they need more training, but at least once or twice, it's okay. Eh, la otra de she find the training a great help. Ah, uh, ¿cuál era? Ya ni me acuerdo. Es que son de ayuda. Los training. Helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, they are. Yes. 
they are. are. They are. They are. Because okay. almost training is quick. Okay. E what type of training do you attend? Is first aid and prevention. Prevention. The questions are really easy, right? Yeah. Yeah, and there are just three questions. All right, we're gonna return and practice in the main session. Don't worry. Okay. I am planning Continue the vacation. Continue planning the vacation. <laughs> okay, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Pues sí, entonces. Pues... We finished, teacher. All right, great. No questions? Mm. Some. <laughs> no, <we're not. laughs> no problems. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. Yo estaba escribiendo mal yesterday. Eso era. Ah. Una palabra tenía mal. Ah, okay. ¿Cuál le falta a usted, Irma? No. My tiny ID do is it healthy. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learned a lot. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'm Jack. I'm, I'm Jack. Yes. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is finished at the work about you? Just perfect. Look. I want to know if you attend a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did the training. I then was about fears. I I I did um prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held held at the Brown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean the training. Did you find it it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most most of who has were please which they is. A speaker uh, practice. I personally learned it a lot. Hello. Ahora si gusta Adenas con luz Ok I'm Yuli Ok Hi Yuli This is Jack How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? Yes, perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about fear aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training. Do you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of most of us.
All right, you're back. All right, so we're going to mix because you were with some partners, but now we're going to mix with somebody else. Let's see. I'm going to listen to Adriana and Elsie. Ready? Adriana and Elsie. Okay. Hi, Yuli. This is Jack. How are these going at work? Elsie? Hola, Adriana. Hola. Tell her that you're going to do the conversation together. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I start again. All right. Hi, Yuli. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Oh, maybe you can say hello, Elsie. How are things going at work? Yeah. <laughs> hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thank. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attend a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plus Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practice. I personally learned a lot. The reactions. <laughs> Good. Any difficult work, Elsie? Um, veamos, um, Hector. Oh, you want to choose Hector to practice again? Okay. Okay, Hector and and Daniel. Are you both ready? I'm Jack. Yes. That's but don't say uh, don't say the name of the lady. Say Daniel. <laughs> no okay. All right, go. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything I find. Then I have about you. Just perfect. Look. I want to know if you attend the train last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. <clears throat> yes, I did. The training I attended was about fears, heights, and prevention. Sound good. Where did it take place? I was held at the Crown Place Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training, did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speaker and practice. I personally did learning a lot. All right. Okay, difficulties, difficult words that you identify that you had to pronounce many times. Please do. Please. Como el, la, las abejas al, al final de la oración. Please. Please. <laughs> Tienen que hacer el zumbido. Okay. Like that, right? Please. Please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, this sound is very common in English. Like, okay. 
Okay. Yeah, everybody was really pleased. I was very pleased. I'm exaggerating, of course, but that's that's the sound that you have at the end, right? Any other word? No more. Absolutely. Personally. Okay, let's listen to Mr. Mr. Carlos Hernandez with Cristina. <laughs> Okay. Ready, Cristina? Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, Hi. Julie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> You're right. <ready>. Okay. <laughs> I am Jack. <laughs> yes. Okay. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. Hope about you. That's perfect. Look, I want to know if, we if you attend the training last year. We are sending an invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plus Hotel. Do you recommend it? Recommend it? I yes, mean, I'm... training. Did you find it helpful? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> also, <laughs> use word, please. With the speaker and practice, I personally, I personally, no, I personally, I personally learned a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay, absolutely. All right, let's go with Mayra and Mayra and Reality. And Samuel. 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 You are Jack. You are Jack. Just give me a second, please. Julie. Julie. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. Who am I? Jack or Julie? And Julie. Okay. Please be my guest. Me, Julie. Ah, okay. Hi, Myra. This is Jack. How are the things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything I find. Thank, thank. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training and attend was about first aid and preparation. Sounds good. Where did that take the place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, uh, the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most, most of us were praised and with uh, the speaker and practice and personally learning a lot. Thank Yay. you very much. I personally yes. learned a lot. All right, great. Okay, who else? We haven't listened to Isabel and Chan 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 <laughs> and and Irma. Oh, we listened to Irma already. Did we hear Irma? Don't remember. No. 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 Not yet. So it's a Okay. You ready? I, I will be Jack. Yes, I'm Julie. Yes. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. 
Fourteen going to work. Hello, Jeff. Everything I find. Thanks. How about you? That's perfect. Look, I want to know if you attend a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training attended was about uh, skills uh, aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was here at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training, did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Uh, most uh, of us were, please, I said, I'm going to Little, it would be a speaker. And in practice, I personally learned a lot. All right, nice. All right, so is there anybody else who hasn't practiced that would like to practice? I think Ferman and Adriana. <laughs> Adriana, creo que ya pasó, teacher. Really? Sí, Is con Elsie. You practiced already? She was first. She was the first one. Yeah. So what about Jacqueline? Okay. Hi, Jacqueline. Hola. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was Jack. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How oh, are things going at work? Hello, Jeff. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new oh, the new one. Yes, I did. He trained that training. I attended about the first. I um in Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Grand Plaza Hotel. Do you do you recommend it? I mean the training. Did you fall did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of the were placed with the speakers um, practice and personal personality learns a lot personally i personally learned a lot learned in past okay on the chat ponga alguna frase alguna expresión alguna palabra que haya sido nueva para ustedes en esta conversation something new from the conversation write it on the chat something that you say okay this I never heard before. It can be an expression, a sentence, a phrase, or anything. Helpful, okay? Something helpful, something useful, something meaningful. Mm -hmm. sure. Yep. First aid is primera auxilio. Yes. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. No sé si ustedes han visto que Por ejemplo, en los buses, obviamente, los buses no son hechos acá, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, se traen estas cosas que dice emergency door, no sé qué. Y algunos que tienen como una cajita que dice first aid kit. Yeah. Es un kit de primero auxilio, sí, right. Mm -hmm. También en las, en las empresas, de repente, en la parte de seguridad, tienen esa cajita. No andan en nada, pero ahí están las cajitas. De exactly. O sea, ya no, pues porque aquí todo se, Ay, se mal usa. Ya se utilizaron. Uh -huh. Ok, el objetivo es que siempre los tuvieran como refilling. Yeah, pero, pero people don't do that. I mean, we no tenemos buen uso de nada. Pero en las empresas sí. Creo que por seguridad industrial deben tener un área donde hay una camilla y todo ese tipo de cosas y ahí tiene que haber un first aid kit. Que no es que va a tener aspirinas, vitaminas y todo eso, sino que bandages y ese tipo de cosas por algún accidente. Uh -huh. Helpful, held, a eh, helpful, helpful. Oh, most of you didn't know the word helpful. Okay. 
Okay, great. That's good. Mm -hmm. Aid, helpful, please. All right, perfect. Bye. Someone has an application yeah. practice. Yes, tell me. Uh, only how are things going at work? It's a new, it's a new question for you. Similar. Like an uh, interpretation. ¿Cómo están todas las cosas? Algo así. ¿Cómo va todo? Trabajo. <laughs> exactly, en tu trabajo. ¿Cómo va todo ahí en el trabajo? Decimos nosotros. How are things going at work? ¿Cómo van las cosas? ¿Cómo va el trabajo? All right. Good. Veamos. Traten de pensar, try to think about, si tuvieran que resumir esta conversation en sus propias palabras, ¿cómo la resumirían? Obviously, you have to do it in English. ¿Ok? Like, think about, ¿cómo dirían? Ok, the conversation is about, o sea, la conversación se trata de esto, esto, esto y esto. Yes? So, traten de decir eso, ¿cómo resumir? Okay, what did you understand from the conversation? Oh, I understood that the conversation is about Jack and this person. Jack calls on the phone. Como que ustedes le están contando a su partner de qué trata la conversation, pero en sus propias palabras, sin tener que repetir textualmente lo que cada uno de ellos dijo. Porque eso es lo que ya hicieron practicando la conversation. Ahorita es como ir un poquito más adelante y tratar de resumir. Como si usted me estuviera contando una historia que yo no estoy leyendo ni estoy viendo. ¿Yes? Va a tratar de hacer eso y vamos a trabajar like two minutes en the breakout room para ver cómo lo hace. ¿Ok? Pero traten de hacerlo en in inglés. Teacher, no me da para meterme al grupo. All right. Somos cuatro tú y yo. <laughs> Five person. Five. Five person. Yes. Okay. In my answer, <laughs> they are talking about the um, training, the topics they receive at the training. And I mean, the importance of first aid and prevention and the practices was a, a point, was a very specific point. They uh, recommend to this training and because of that, they personally learn and recommend it as well. That for me. I think they they talk about the training, mm -hmm. um, the the answer if they. <clears throat> Ya, estoy, ya voy a terminar, solo quiero termi terminar de bueno, tener una idea. Bueno. Going 
Mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. I think in the conversation they don't give a lot of information about the the training and just some como como que le dijera te recordaba ¿verdad? el año pasado la entonces uh -huh. que a dónde lo pueden hacer entonces Julie le dice que ya lo hizo que ella pues eh, lo, es, lo está atendiendo y que va a ser de primeros auxilios y prevención entonces se le dice que suena bien ya entonces uh -huh. por ejemplo I think o I um, I think that Jack is um, el encargado, como se dice, Samuel, in charge, in charge, mm -hmm. in charge uh, the, of the uh, training, the training, training this, the, your company. And Julie is your, uh, ¿cómo se diría assistant? Assistant, is your assistant. And Jack, uh, the, uh, le pregunta, ¿cómo se dice le pregunta? Ask her. Ask, 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 ask her. Ask her, a Julie, uh, about the, the... Oh, tendríamos que decir que Julie quiere hacer una capacitación y le pregunta a Jack cómo le fue en la anterior y él le, le comenta que fue bastante bueno, que él quedó satisfecho que si sí le recomienda el, el trabajo plaza. Le voy a decir el mío y ustedes me corrigen. Okay. Uh -huh. The conversation is about Julie consulting uh, Jack about his experience last year in this same training, same training and his recommendation. Um, he expressed that the majority were very satisfied. Very satisfied. Algo así, pero podemos ponerle las ideas que ustedes estaban diciendo del hotel. Sería... ¿Cómo empezó la... Su... Relato. Uh, the conversation is about Julie consulting to Jack about his experience last year in the in the training and his recommendation. Mm. Quiere preguntar su experiencia de la capacitación el año anterior y sus recomendaciones. Sí, prácticamente así sería como resumiéndolo, que quiere una nueva, hacer una nueva capacitación y está preguntando la experiencia. Quiero hacer una capacitación de prevención.
All right, ready? Volunteers, to summarize what the conversation is about. Me. All right, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, we are talking about Jack and Julie, about uh, the training, uh, uh, the presentation, talking about the uh, training, uh, the training about the first aid and prevention. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was in the hotel, the uh, Crown Plaza Hotel, uh, uh, for Julie, uh, was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's, uh, uh, she's learned a lot. She learned a lot. All right, reactions. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Somebody else? With my partner, we was talking and they don't um, specific a lot of topics in the day um, learning the training. I mean, what if, what what was the first ID practices in specific, like a RCP or English. <laughs> All right. So they they didn't specify about each of the trainings. Yeah, that's true. Yes. All right. Nice. Someone else. Don't be shy. <laughs> Dare to speak. Teacher. Yes. I think they was partner. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. they were partners uh-huh and talk about the capacity uh, the training capacitation mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the training uh the last year from last year last uh -huh. year uh, the training was uh talk about a uh, first aid and maybe uh, they know now no como se el pasado no they knew, knew. Mm -hmm. they, they not don't knew and they no they didn't they, know this year uh -huh. and they they only know the the place uh -huh. for for do the the training uh -huh. in crown plaza hotel uh -huh. it's very uh, and, and talk about uh, the uh, opportunity for um make it strong uh -huh. the ability Mm -hmm. and and get more information for here for here mm -hmm. this they work they work i think mm -hmm. all right good yeah definitely that i think they are they are colleagues right so they work for the same company but now jack is in charge of sending the invitation for the training this year, for the new training. And he wants to have some feedback, right? From Julie, how the experience was last year, right? So clearly that's why he is calling her, okay? To refresh his memory, okay? And of course, they have to be kind, asking about things at work and how they're doing, right? So he wants to have some feedback in the place where the training took place last year. All right, great. And you answered these questions, didn't you? Did you? What type of training did Julie attend? She first attended. Uh -huh. First aid and preventive. She Preven attended. Prevention. Yes, okay, first aid and prevention. Okay, he says, it was about, mm -hmm, that the training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Did she find the training a great help? Yes, 
no? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. She said yes, she did. the training was. Mm -hmm. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices, right? So when Jack asked her, did you find it helpful? She said, yes, absolutely. Yes. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices, and I personally learned a lot. So did she find the training great help? Yes, she did. She found it uh, really helpful, right? She found it that it was useful, so she learned a lot. In your opinion, how often should trainings take place? Mm -hmm. Some people already said it. In my opinion, trainings should take place. In once my a opinion, year. teacher, uh, once a year. Once a year, at least, right? Mm -hmm. What kind of Maybe. trainings? Yes? Maybe more. Maybe to be more frequent. Okay, twice or three times a year. Mm. To be once once a year. Once a year. All right. Well, <clears throat> you have a list of different trainings here. Check them out. All right, you have to imagine that you attended two of these trainings. Okay, one is already sold, and this is the other space. Okay, o sea, se imaginar que tienen la posibilidad de ir a dos de estos trainings. Les están dando self-motivation training. Yeah. Mm, training de automotivación, injury management, customer service, Telephone etiquette and first aid training. Anger management. ¿Cómo interpretamos anger management? Mm -hmm. Con un nombre fancy. <laughs> Generalmente le ponen como muy fancy names. I know. Manejo de. De, ira. De, de la ira o algo, uh -huh. o, o de la emoción. Exacto, sí, anger es eso, enojo, ira. Pero cuando se le dicen, ah, ¿quieres ir a un training de, de control o de manejo de la ira? Dice, que yo no soy enojado, si quién le ha dicho a usted, ya le estoy reclamando. Generalmente le dicen manejo de emociones. Yeah. Better focus, anger. Focus. <ríe> y usted, ¿y usted quién le ha dicho que soy enojado? <ríe> y ya está enojado, ya está reactivo. Ok, customer service es like very common. Okay? Este es un, un, un gran tema, ¿verdad? En cualquier área vamos a tener que tener un buen customer service. Telephone etiquette. ¿Qué podría ver o qué podría desarrollarse en un curso de telephone etiquette? Vamos a ver. Nunca hemos tenido la posibilidad de ir a un telephone etiquette training. No, no, no teacher. Nadie no tiene yet. que. <ríe> ah, pues hay que sugerirlo cuando llenemos mañana la, la encuesta. <ríe> Ajá, puede ser por sales, porque generalmente uno piensa que las personas que están en el teléfono están vendiendo, queriendo vender algo. No necesariamente, pero puede ser. Quizás los que más necesiten, ¿verdad? Los que más se vean beneficiados de un curso así. Pero... ¿Cómo sería la encuesta, Ticho? ¿Encuesta? O oh, mañana, lo de la encuesta. No, no, no. ¿Cómo se traduciría encuesta? Survey. ¿Cómo? S-U-R-V-E-Y. Survey. Mm. Can you text, please, for me? Survey. Please. <laughs> es you in the chat picture, in the chat. Survey. We, oh, <laughs> do that. Survey. 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 Survey.
Sorby. Sorby. No, para mí sí suena. <ríe> Como es la combinación de la E y la Y. Ah. Ajá, esa es la I. Sorby. Ajá. Porque ah. puede ser A, B, C, D, E. Y que nosotros tendemos a pensar que solo la Y es una I. Como Ricky. Pero no. La I sí suena. Eh, al menos que sea la I al final de toda la palabra. Y si a veces, la mayoría de veces es muda. Como dance, take. Ahí sí es mute. Vaya, ¿qué más? Otro training que está acá es el de first aid. Ese ya que tienen una idea. Creo que en la mayoría de lugares dan first aid. Como primeros auxilios. ¿sí? Sobre todo si están trabajando en un área donde pueden haber accidentes laborales. First aid. Bueno, lo ideal sería prevenirlo. Pero... Ok, imagínense que ustedes tienen la posibilidad de ir a dos de estos. Ustedes eligen a cuáles, ¿ok? Y luego los van a recomendar. Acá les dan un ejemplo que dice, I highly recommend this training because it helped me control my emotions. So, esta persona, en teoría, asistió al de Anger Management. Entonces usted va a elegir dos y puede ser Anger Management, Customer Service, First Aid, cualquiera de los dos que usted quiera. Luego que haya hecho eso, va a escribir un email, en teoría, porque que lo va a escribir realmente, ¿verdad? Entonces me va a mandar un email, aquí okay, sino que lo hace en papel, ¿ok? Y dice, write an email recommending a workshop or training course and providing information about it. ¿Por qué lo recomendaríamos? ¿Cuáles serían las razones para recomendar uno de esos trainings? Uh -huh. Because it helped me. It helped me. Uh -huh. I learned a lot. We talk. Uh -huh. We talk, we share experiences, we practice. Uh -huh. The information was really helpful, useful. Uh -huh. ¿Qué otras razones tendrían para recomendar uno de estos workshops? The dynamic was really interactive. Yes. We practiced. The speaker was really dynamic. No sé, cualquiera de esas razones por las que ustedes recomiendan uno de esos trainings, ¿ok? Bye. Obviamente, le voy a dar chance para que lo hagan con alguien, con sus partners, pero esta vez serán new partners. Lo pueden ir discutiendo entre ambos e irlo llenando de decir, va, yo voy a recomendar tal y tú recomiendas tal y por qué. ¿Sí? Yes. Okay. Five minutes. En five minutes ya lo han resuelto. <risa> La página 46. A ver. Ya lo ya. Um, I will show. Telephone. Telephone etiquette. <laughs> Because. <laughs> Is very important in the work, in the presentation for for the clients. Okay. And you? Uh, 
for me, first I eat training because uh, save the life is very important. que lo recomendamos, dice. I would recommend a uh, telephone etiquette label to give a good imagine of the company. Okay. In the customer service. Perfect. First aid training, entonces escogemos first and training y el otro. Y customer service, ¿qué me parece bien? Y Ajá. customer service. Vale, entonces hoy hay bueno. que redactar la bendita pregunta. Más bien, la, la explicación, ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces ponemos ahí en arriba. Training because it's customer a, service. Customer service y ponemos... I recommend uh, this training because it's very important for the communi communication. Communication, se dice comunicación, sí va. Uh -huh. Communication and in, no sé, pro, desde, desde, desde los compañeros hasta el cliente, no sé si es ese prompt. It is necessary to. O oh, se dice sign, ya se me olvidó eso. Desde los compañeros hasta el cliente. Mm. From, it's okay. From. Hola, teacher. Ay, yo no From. había visto. From, ok. No digas eso, si ya me habías hecho y que ahí está la teacher. No. <risa> <risa> no había visto. Siempre estoy pendiente, pero. <risa> ok. Hoy se te escapó. Hoy se me escapó. Entonces, hay. I... Uh -huh. Eh, en mí. Ah, ok. Um, el otro sería uh, investigación inve 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 le learn for for uh, training. Pudiera ser también. Okay. Adriana, ¿cuál dijo usted? Customer service. Uh -huh. um, telephone. Telephone. Yes. Because I give technical support to uh, mm -hmm. um, different areas in the company. And I need to give auto control. Okay. Control. 
En, en usted, Elsie. En mi caso, sería como para eh, resolver problems eh, de clients. And for self. Eh, resolverle algunos problemas a los clientes por, por teléfono. Uh -huh. En mi um, eh, atención a client, um, ¿cómo se dice atender? Ajá, uh atender. -huh. I think client um Uh-huh. Volunteers to recommend two trainings or at least one. Okay. Any recommendation, any training? Mm -hmm. Teacher? Yes. We talk about the stress control, mm -hmm. project management, and responsibility, social corporation. Eh, <laughs> okay, so a stress management would be the, the, the training that you need. The training and uh -huh. for control the situation of the stress. Uh -huh. Project management for uh, ¿cómo sería? Um, make better work. Uh -huh. um, to do a better work. Better okay, work. yeah. All right. Somebody else? Someone else? No? No more recommendations. Oh my God. I yes? Choose customer service. Mm -hmm. Why yeah. do you recommend that? I highly, highly recommend it because I learned, <clears throat> I learned a lot. Also, I learned to be diplomatic or to suggest to suggest. Uh -huh. um, I came to help to the people to restore your problems. Okay, nice. That's, yes. So. I learned to help people to restore their problems, right? To find new strategies and new ways to say things, right? They don't sound too abrupt. All right, great. Someone else? One more? One last? Recommended training. Teacher. Yes. Uh, me too. Recommend the uh, customer service. Mm -hmm. uh, I recommend the I recommend this training because it's very important for the communication uh, between partners or from the partner uh, to customers. Cost customer final customer. or finally customer. The final customer. Final customer. Okay. All right. Awesome. Okay. Bye. Los demás los vamos a tener que de verdad envíen el, el email. Nah. <laughs> y todo no es para ahorita, se lo digo. Estamos exonerados, okay. Patricia. Mm, ya. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Veamos. 
Tomorrow is the last class. Oh, no. Pero hay un requisito. Creo que para ustedes no es como tan nuevo. Yeah. One more, dice Isabel. Ay, Isabel ya no quiere ver, vean. Va, el requisito es como varios de los requisitos de Insofor es llenar la encuesta de certificación. Así que para ustedes no es nada nuevo, pues ya es su six module. Algunos no han estado todos, pero por eso voy a explicar ahora. Creo que mandaron las recomendaciones, les mandan un correo, ¿verdad? Y también habían mandado las recomendaciones en su grupo. Se debe hacer en clase, todos juntos. Y si ya lo han hecho, porque no sabían, pues está bien, pero igual mañana la vuelven a hacer. <risa> igual la volvemos a hacer todo, ¿ok? Es por cuestiones de formalidad, ustedes saben. Y... Si hay algún dato que no estemos tan seguros, pues en ese momento se aclaran las dudas. Igual hay un técnico de inglés corporativo para estar apoyando y estar corroborando de que todo esté fluyendo como debe ser. ¿Hay alguna duda? ¿Alguna cuestión? Pero, teacher, Dígame. cuando unos compañeros han preguntado, ningún técnico hasta la vez, nadie sale y dice, ¿En serio? sí, les ayudo en esto, siempre sí. entre nosotros, entonces no, la ayuda así directamente... De, de inglés corporativo no se tiene. Yes, teacher. Really? Bueno, o sea, siempre nos dicen que está el técnico, pero nada. No. Mañana estará en la llamada. Ustedes pueden hacer así, digan, yo veo tal nombre y quiero hablar con esa persona. <risa> 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 ok. Pero, teacher, yo creo que el, el detalle que quizás Mayra dice, o sea, yo, yo sé que está grabado, pues, y ojalá lo vean. Y, es que... Por la de la digamos, plataforma. Ajá, este... En el caso de que cuando nosotros hacemos un examen o tenemos una duda, uh -huh. nosotros lo podemos expresar, pero usualmente lo expresamos acá, uh -huh. porque de allí no recibimos una retroalimentación. Sí, de, de, si de, no es tiempo real, puede ser. Ajá, entonces uh -huh. no es que, ni, ni es que se contacten con nosotros por aparte. Uh -huh. Como que eso sí siento que puede, puede mejorar. Bueno, igual. Creo que en la encuesta uh -huh. habrá algún espacio para algún comentario. Sí, y la otra es de que eh, yo sé que siempre tienen el mismo formulado de examen y saben que tiene un error y creo que siempre lo dan todos los, todos los meses. Uh -huh. Deberían de corregirlo, ¿verdad? No que uh -huh. siempre viene otro grupo y se la da y se rompe la cabeza para lograr contestarlo sabiendo que tiene un error los formatos y debieron haberlo corregido desde la primera vez que, a, que alguien reportó que estaba mal. Uh -huh. Yo eso le cambiaría a inglés corporativo. Ok. Que ahí falla. Muy bien. No, es muy aceptable. ¿Y han identificado algún otro error? Aparte del de la vez que estuvimos. Eh, bueno, en el módulo anterior sí también tuvo errores. Entonces, mm, este. Yeah. Eh, es como repetitivo. Al otro mes, el otro. Que estemos otra vez. Que vamos a hallar en la siguiente plataforma. Van a identificar algo. No. Bueno. Bueno, esperemos que no. Esperemos que sí se, se logre solventar y bueno, está en su, en su derecho. Ok, the, creo que sí. The digamos. teacher, the teacher is best. Sí. <risa> sí, sí, sí. Ok. Bueno, yo sé que es cansado y todo, pero hay que echarle ganas. Keep it up, ok. Keep going, you can do it. Así que tu modo los veo, se pueden traer su donut, su coffee, para que estén despiertos. <risa> I know everybody does some tricks, algunos trucos, vean, para mantenerse. Así que, y celebrar el cierre de nuestro curso. Bueno, que descansen, yo creo que ya nadie, falta que se quede, además ya son las tentenas, así que no problems. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you Blessings. tomorrow. Rest. Rest and relax. Bye bye. Bye. bye.